I J O N. It's about that time. We've done enough reminiscing. No, they said. This shit is nasty. You just eat them because you want to be a preacher to the salt taste good. You like. Salt got a left taste. We'll be ready here in just a second. Oh, that shit is nasty. Uh oh, turn it down. Find my level. Find my level. Okay. Okay. Level it yeah. out. Level it up. Ooh. We need to bring the guy down. Level it out. Auto tune with Mike and me, bitch. <laughs> when I auto tune with Mike and me, we're going to set it up like a studio. Get that bit right here. Go get a real game for my nigga. Yes, sir. That's cool. You sure? Yeah. What? What are you talking about? You know. The reef will finish that good, man. I can't eat it in the hood and show. I'm killing this shit on the hood, show the fuck. I don't sell my land no more. That shit. Uh, got the gas yeah. and the coal. I don't sell my land. No, I never did. Cause that ain't not my business. I never sold no drugs. Cause that, that ain't what it is. Hey, say no to drugs and smoke a blunt. I did. <laughs> I did. Say no to drugs and smoke a blunt. Of my mama house. Ooh. Running up and down the south. Ooh. Looking for that cocaine. What? I be forgetting the same. And propane. Ah, damn. And some more <laughs> I cannot say. <laughs> no. I know that he's in there. Nah, nah. Ooh. Hell no. Nah. Hey, in front of my mama house. Where you at? Mm. In front of my mama house. Doing what? Sending me some coke. <laughs> Where was you at, though? Where you at, though? In front of my mama house. Where was you at, though? In front of my mama house. Doing what? Sending me some cocaine. 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 Best prices in the city. Hey. And a few extra things. Yeah. Hell no. Best prices in the city. Yeah. Hell no. Best prices in the city. Yeah. Hell no. Best prices in the city. Yeah. Hell no. Hey. He had the best what price in the city. Okay. Hey, he had the best price in the city. Okay. Hey, he had the best price in the city. Okay. Hey, he had the best price in the city. Okay. Hey, he had the best price in the city. Oh, now my brother smoked my sack. Oh, he smoked it up. I can't get it back. Oh no, hell no. My brother made me stole my. Oh no, hell. Oh. Oh. man, I can't get it back. Had that big price in the city. I ain't seen no cocaine. Hey, okay. Had that big price. Shit, Guess what? It was in your system, nigga. You was on it. Acting like it's liquor. Hey, <laughs> no. Your ass on my cocaine. <laughs> Where was oh, you man. at, though? I was in front of my mama's house. Hey, where was you at, though? I was in front of my mama's house. Yeah. Hey, where was you at? I was in front of my mama's house. Doing what? I had that 380 right tucked in my mama's house. Doing what? Oh, I'm sitting bitch from Coke. Doing what? Sitting bitch from Coke. Doing what, though? Sitting bitch from Coke. Doing what, though? What was you at though? Oh. Outside of my mama. Where was you at though? Outside of my mama. Where, where was you at though? Outside of my mama house. Go to the police. Don't act no fool. I'm finna go to school. No. 
Nah, just a minute ago, I you was. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought you was the dude. Uh-oh. I was in the room. <laughs> It is all good. Where you at though, DC? Ain't got a little bro. Hey, hey, hey. Get what? And I'm only 17, man. Hey. Hey. But get what? I'm doing grown man things. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hold on, what was you doing? Cocaine. Cocaine. Nah, you was selling. That's why oh, I okay. had to say, sell it, man. Cause somebody got to do it. Somebody got to do it. That's stupid, my head. Boy. And you want to hear the hook again, though. Yeah. She tell the truth. DC, hit that shit, man. Get what? I'm selling me some cocaine. What was you doing, though? I'm selling me some cocaine. What was you doing, though? I'm selling me some cocaine. Hey, what was you at, though? I'm selling me some cocaine. What was you at, though? What? I'm selling me some cocaine. What? I'm selling me some cocaine. Got that three-day game. Mama, I said it be some cocaine. What was you doing, though? No. I said a little propane. What was you doing, I said, though? I even have an extra thing. But I cannot say no thing. What was you at, though? I'm not that mama, mama. What was you at, though? I'm not that mama, mama. What was you at, though? I'm not that mama, mama. What was you doing, though? I'm not that mama, mama. Shit, man, you got the whole time. We done got the sidetrack, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hard. Mm-hmm. And then the cap go down there. <laughs> See? That's what you do when you come to the trap. Man. Oh my god, come on. Hey man. I gotta introduce our guest, man. We got one of the coldest young niggas in on, Hollywood, man. man. On, on, on man. all my favorite show, on, man. man. He in the he in the only BMF you could be in. Not only is he going crazy, he's a phenomenal actor. Phenomenal. 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 I think it's his that's a big word coming in as a debut for real. He called me. Cold, cold, cold. Hey man. Wow. We we appreciate, appreciate you stopping that, through here, man. None other than that mouse true hey. 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 oh, wow, wow. How you living? Yeah, yeah. Get money, you got yeah. suede jumpsuits and shit. Yeah. Okay, that boy yeah. here looking like the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> He's in character. That boy right now. Yeah. Him some go gay. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I'm, 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 I'm a huge, huge, huge fan. I've been watching this since the live shows. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm glad I'm, I'm here. It's full circle for me. So. Uh, yeah. we fuck with? Shout out to the real 85 percent. That's what's up. They fuck with us a long way, man. Look, what it yeah. feel like to be on on one of the dopest shows on TV right Dope. now? Crazy. A couple you know? of them. Own it. You know oh, who's gonna it? get to it? I'm getting it. Like, I'm just, all right, all right, my bad. We're we rushing today. Right. Well, being left, you know, it's, it's crazy because every day I come on set, it's like a family reunion. You kind of got a taste of it too, coming on set, you know, with, working with Tasha or what have you. Best. First season, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it really Tasha reflected how much 
relationships and chemistry we had on set, the audience was able to watch that and actually see it. It was real authentic and real, and we were able to illustrate a story that wasn't, you know what I'm saying, wasn't, that hasn't been told yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's different because this man is in jail, calling his son, calling the directors, the writers, the producers, and actually telling his story. You know what I'm saying? This isn't no Italian mob, you know, story that that's long and gone. This man has died. This man is actually living this day, telling the story and trying right. to fight his battle. Right. You know, yeah. and we are trying to help that, you know, by illustrating the story and this trials and tribulations that he went through. So it was cool. It was fun. It's fun, man. I'm glad I'm a part of it, man. We got some new cast, Mays Leslie Jones, you know, we got Monique. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so, yeah. yeah. She in there. She finna come in and go crazy. Man, Yo, I know she's been coming there. What? Friend. She's playing a uh, 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 Atlanta strip club owner. Oh mm. shit! Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She gonna so kill she, that. She's she, she yeah, gonna be yeah, the head yeah. honcho in Atlanta. They're coming to Atlanta the second. Uh, okay, season. so you can say that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's no what's shit. up. I ain't know if it was a spoiler or no, no shit, no, but I ain't gonna spoil too much. But um, yeah. That's what people was asking. Okay. But I was liking to see the you know the whole shit from the beginning how it mm -hmm. started. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we're going deeper into the story. So it's great. But you know what? I we 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 kind of click. Right off the bat, when we got when we got on there, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't know he was one of the main characters. You right. feel me? So we were just mm. kicking in and just piling and da 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 da. Right. But once it was like action, mm. I watched certain actors just to see what was going on. But when he was out there, I was like, oh shit, that's what I'm gonna feed off of. Right. That's what I'm gonna get angry with. Mm. When I talk my shit, I'm gonna talk to him. Right. Cause I see he gonna give me that nitty gritty that I like, mm. and I'd be damned if he didn't do with the Zach. The fuck with the, <laughs> they were like, soon as he did, I ain't even know about it. He was the one that was supposed to. He was the one that had his pistol. I'm like, nigga, you got your pistol, right. you feel me? Right. But he gave me that energy so I can goddamn reciprocate that shit. You feel me? And yeah. being a part of that story, like you said, I ain't. I'm not. I don't know about what they was allegedly known for, you feel what I'm saying? Right. But to actually be a part of the history and that culture, bro, is beautiful. And just to have that BMF chain around your neck for, like, playing one of them niggas, they were like, yeah, we it's kinda, it's It's kind of different, too, because, like, we, I can, I can speak for me, I never lived in the 80s. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I did. Put, we, I'll tell you about it. And the 70s, didn't you? Tell you what the 80s oh, was like. Man. <laughs> oh, nigga, the 80s was a difficult time, man. Nigga, the 80s, that's when man. you would get it was all the your favorite time. electronics for Christmas. <laughs> you like and Nobody works. bought no batteries. <laughs> you just had to look at this shit for about two weeks. <laughs> Batteries was high plastic. as fuck. Yeah, man, yeah, the 80s yeah. was crazy. Yeah, you know. Because I mean, there was a lot of technology, but it was new technology. Everything was big. Everything was new. And, and low. shitty. And <laughs> shitty. Low. But they was trying like yeah, a motherfucker. Exactly. Yeah. What, wait, what phones did y'all have? Like, what was they got so? tele house phones. Yeah. Like, Rotary phones were still activated. Exactly. I, I, so I had, really? to do a, I had to do a scene recently with a rotary phone, and I fucked up because I, I came I came to Randy. This there. motherfucker did it one time. No, 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 no. No, hold on, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> going off, going off on my, what my man said, I'm a real like method actor. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm, I am a, a, a what is it called? A the, a, 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 thes a thespian. There you, you go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when it came yeah, I like down the to one that, too. I like the one too. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So when it, so when it came down to that scene, I came to the producers and writers. I said, hey, uh, how many digits? You know what I'm saying? Is it? Like, cause I, I know it ain't four, 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 seven, eight, you know what I'm saying? Nine, yeah. nine, one, one. So like, what, what, what is it? He's seven. like, it's, it's seven digits. I was yeah, like, okay, cause cool. all the calls yeah. was local. Yeah. So when we, when I walked up to the, the, the rotor phone, I did the scene, I literally typed in one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, and they said, and then after they came back to me, they said, "No, did you really dial seven digits?" <laughs> yeah. So I, I, that was really. It took forever, confused. didn't it? <laughs> you did. You, you ain't know I you had to spin it. I, I forgot I was acting for, for but a bro, minute. Just imagine if the phone was actually on, and you every time you spin that bitch, you go click, 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 click. You got to wait till that shit. shit. You got to wait till that shit stop. You got to wait till that shit come all the way back. Yeah. yeah. That's the other number. And that's that's the house phone. But on some real shit, yeah, that shit was kind of gangster when you look back on it. Dude, let me call this bitch. Hold on. <laughs> 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 Shit, take forever. Don't let you fuck up. You gotta hang up. Put that bit back up. That's right when the phone used to go bloop, bloop, bloop. Then you gotta start over. Mm -mm. No, but it was fun though. Just reliving that, you know, because I never, I never lived it. So. Man, that shit was dope. But what made you want like getting active though? That shit is dope with the period. Though. Uh, what I want, what made me? Yeah. 
I wanted to play basketball. There was no more basketball slots left at the summer camp. So my mom was like, either you're going to go to Emory Hospital with your grandmother for the rest of the summer or go to this theater camp. That's a hell of an alternative. This on, the west, this on the West End, like right down the street from the West End Mall. Yeah. It's the Croc Center. Yeah. I went there and I was like, all right, bet I'll go to the theater camp. I, did, I went to the theater camp for probably like two, three years plus. And I was like, I enjoyed the acting. I learned the basics and logistics of just standing still, having, not, not having my hands in my pockets, being comfortable in front of large audiences. Mm -hmm. Went from there, to, went to a theater program, YEA, Youth Ensemble of Atlanta. Uh, uh, Kia, uh, uh, Kia Burst came out of there. Mm -hmm. Kia, uh, who, uh, Ken Candy. Uh, Candy Burst came out of there. Keenan, you know what I'm saying? So uh, a lot of people that came did out of there. Did you just get both of their names together? I sure did. You Candy said, Thompson. that nigga said Keenan Burst, oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Candy Thompson. Yeah. I mean, I shit. Yeah. I was talking too fast. Yeah. But um, a lot of people came out of the um, theater program, <laughs> and I went from there, and Robbie Reed has had open casting She's calls so for New Edition Story. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Huge black casting director. And yeah, um, Robbie she had Robbie my, my, my um, director of the um, directing program that I was in, she had hit up Robbie Reed and it was like, hey, I have two boys, mm -hmm. two black boys that can audition for these roles. Did Damn, that's how they sold you? Yeah. Two black boys. <laughs> <laughs> two Negro boys. Two Negro boys to play Ryan DeVoe and Bobby Brown. Mm. And that's when my journey began. Booked it and never looked back. You was in New Edition too? Yeah, I played young Ryan DeVoe. That was my first thing. That was it. Booked it off top. So, so here's the thing, here's the process with that. Went to the open casting call, this is in Atlanta. Right. It was like in this loft room. Robbie Reed had her son with, you, uh, with her. It was me and my boy Tyler Marcel Williams. He played Bobby Brown in, right. in the uh, Bobby Brown story as well. He played young Bobby Brown. Right. We sang Candy Girl in front of her, sang two other songs, right. and then uh, we, aud we auditioned in our roles. And she was like, all right, cool, you guys did good. About three months later, we got a call back saying, hey, we want you guys to come out with Chris Robinson for a chemistry read for a week. And they sent 10 boys, two of each role, two, two Rickies, two Ronnies, two Rouse, two Bobbies, you know what I'm saying? Right, so right. this is a chemistry read. What a chemistry read is, I know, I think you know. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. what a chemistry read is, is to test the chemistry you have with the castmates before they actually cast you guys. Right. So this was a whole new different experience for me because A, I've never been in the casting room, A, I've never been in front of a casting director or a director, period. I've never been in front of a lens. Right. Go out there to LA <clears throat> for a week, get in front of the, um, all these casting directors and, and Chris <clears throat> Robinson, Robbie Reed, or what have you, with these boys, and we're just battling it out. They're switching us out. Hey, you play Ricky, you play Ralph, you play Ronnie, you play Bobby, you sing this, you sing that. Then we go home after that week. About five months later, I get a call saying, hey, you got it. And my life changed. Like, I, I was, I, it was probably like 8.30 at night. My mom got home from work. <clears throat> and I got the call, and I literally just, like, bust down crying. Because, mm -hmm. like, it was, it was something that I wasn't expecting, but I wasn't prepared for. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, me coming from East Atlanta, moving to Dunwoody for a better, you know what I'm saying, education, and not knowing what my future ones are upholds mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and just getting that call like hey we need you to come back to film something and i've been watching film my whole life cartoon network nickelodeon you know as a yeah. kid you 12 right, right, 13 right, you get that yeah. call so it was just amazing you in know, the so. acting camp Dang. come on man yeah <sighs> hey, that is dope. hey you know, it on, it you know. Yes, it on. On. i know Nigga, I, I gotta go rewatch it now. Yeah. Like, what do you find? <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you, he was the he, yeah. you did the scene where you cut his hair and now he, he had to get a little dookie. Yeah. 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 Yeah, DC got them out here a young legend, man. Yeah, yeah. My favorite yeah. shit, I still want you to, I want to see the full feature of you playing Slato. That from that smooth. American Soul shit, that was that's hard, bro. That shit was smooth. Yeah. Yeah. That nigga, that shit yeah. was smooth. And then I had, I had to sing for goddamn Babyface, man. That was probably out of my whole like. How was that experience? Me off the team. <laughs> First of all, I walked in, had to brace myself. They were like baby face, cause I actually had to play that. Um, I had to sing the song with, with family. Um, Slime if you want me to right. stay, right? If you want me to stay. So I go in there. <laughs> his ass is in there. He's he's like, he he ain't with all that. He don't give a fuck who you with. This, this baby face. I know, yeah. I, you I, in yeah, his space right, now. Right, right, I don't give a damn. Once you in the studio, you, you talking to me. Exactly. So I come in, he like, all right, you, you ready? <laughs> I'm like, 
How you doing, baby face? Yes, yeah. I am, sir. I'm not gonna lie. Word. I'm nervous to the bitch. I'm like, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I am. I'm ready. He's like, I'm ready. We're gonna go over the song. We're gonna go over. We listen to it. We listen to it. All right. So they got the one line, one line. He's like, all right, we're gonna cut this line up. We're gonna say this part. We're gonna say this part. All right. Hit the note. He's perfect with the voice. Nigga. <laughs> He's perfect. Go ahead. But, he, but this is what he's going. He's like, yeah. we're gonna do this, Ron. We're gonna do this. So I'm sitting there and I'm going. He's like, all right, now go. Lower the tone. All right. Go in. Now go in and record. It was literally just like that. In one every direction, I was in that only. Mm. Ah, ah. And get what he told the people. He said that he was like, he actually he can sing and he actually takes great direction. And I was impressed by working with him. Mm. And I was like, nigga from Babyface, nigga. That's hard. Say more oh, about yeah. your boy. I said Babyface yeah. was hard. Yeah. Hey, Babyface, say something like that about you. Somebody yeah. supposed to bring you some coochie yeah. right then. It's right supposed now. to be some coochie, right? They supposed to like. Coochie, I'm telling you. You're stupid. <laughs> 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 nah, no cap. That's like, what's, 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 what's your favorite? Like, what's your favorite? Like, I heard you say like period piece, time piece. Those are the best pieces to me. I don't really like doing nothing past 2015 with no phone, no nah, nothing. Right. Yeah. That's bullshit. Yeah, Real talk. Exactly. I like to act. I like yeah. to get into the character, study, dissect it. Find out what's they background. <clears throat> Who their closest friends? Why is he like this? Why? Right. Why? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite or <clears throat> role that you want to go accomplish that you like? I want to do that. That's a dream role. You know, there's one role that I know for a fact that would change my life. What that is? And me and my manager be talking about this, but that's Miles Morales. Mm. And the main Ooh. reason why, and it's okay. been God has been God has been having a heavy on my mind mm -hmm. for the past seven years. I've been in this game, and the main reason why Disney and Marvel has been posting, like the, the fan pages have been posting in the runnings for me, Kayla McLaughlin, mm -hmm. uh, my boy from the Shy, mm -hmm. and Miles Brown. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they just been posting that, posting that, posting. I just been seeing it, seeing it, seeing it. And I'm like thinking, like, why not? You know. And even if it ain't destined for me, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm, I for sure will be grateful if one of them get it. Anybody else, ah. Uh, but them, you know, break that down for me. My mom's Morales. Spider Man. Black Spider Man. Spider -Man. Spider -Man. You know Spider -Man. Spider -Man? I'm a real street nigga, my boy. Damn. Damn. This nigga looking at me like, oh, okay. No, I'm like, I'm <laughs> hearing this nigga <laughs> off the road. I'm like, I just want to know the road. You feel me? Damn. Talking about all that shit. Boy, you know, you shouldn't have told him. Yeah. No, I respect yeah. the story. You shouldn't have told him. Because I wonder what he would have said. Right. So what made you want to play I, an I, old I Spanish dude? Yeah. <laughs> hey, nigga, I was thinking like a, a, a Spanish kingpin. I swear. All I heard was like, Morales. Morales. Oh, okay, so you speak Spanish. Morales. Hold on. Oh, this shit is going to go Dominican. Boy, he's Latino, though. He is. He's black and Latino, right? He's Latino. He's Latino. He, yeah, that's the yeah. Spider Man you know, they created. They did so they can let some minorities mm -hmm. play a uh, superhero. They did a cartoon. He was black. black. Yeah. And in the comics, he was black. If anybody uh, from the Marvel yeah. Universe is watching this, we're trying to change it. it. I hope y'all know. We are totally fine with y'all creating fake fictional characters for black people to play too. If y'all don't want us to play y'all superheroes, make us some shit up too. We will come with original roles. It don't have to be nothing recreated. You already got an Iron Man. What I look like taking that white man's job. Hey, come on. They need a nice. There are so many precious metals out there. Aluminum man. Yeah, Titanium man, and Cobalt. it's like Cobalt man, we've been, we've been man. suppressed to that movie. Radio, you know how many animals that. in the animal kingdom that we just throw black in front of? Yeah. Right now, we already got Ryan Coogler. Come on, <laughs> Black Coogler. About, come on, we, you're talking about the animal kingdom. I'm just saying, like, if anybody from Marvel or like the X Men people watching this shit, they can make us up some characters too. Yeah. I want to have some power. Shit. What would be your power? Nigga got kicked by a rhinoceros. Now he's strong as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga stronger than the Hulk. Regular size, though. I don't think he'll be able to walk. He, he got a footprint, though. He got a rhinoceros he man in his chest. He then, got a hip that's a simple. Man. That's a big hip. The <laughs> nigga got his mama's intuition. He just knows some shit about to happen. Oh shit, my chest hurting. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we might want to get the fuck out of here, man. Magneto, Magneto just woke up and scratched his nuts, man. <laughs> you don't see all this shit flying through here? <laughs> <laughs> he said I woke up and scratched his nuts. Uh, 
Yeah, they got all them wow. white people who could disappear and float and change into other motherfuckers. You mean tell me they ain't got one nigga that disappeared before all the shit happened and then pop back up? Where were you? <laughs> Teleportation. Man, that's look, gross. I can't that's be hard. everywhere. That's awesome. That would be hard. That's you, though? I don't know if that's me. I don't want teleportation. Clayton, they definitely could let you play hard. stretch on. Because it might, they, it might come with some dumbass rules. Like, you got to know where you going. You yeah. can play stretch on. They never know. You might black out and be like, No, I'm saying, like, I want to teleport to wherever the fuck I want to go, but like... But that's how the power works. If you know where you're going, then... But if you ain't never been... Shit. You know, you so I can only teleport to places I've been? Why the fuck would you go to then? Hell no. Nah. I don't want that. Hell no. Nah. I'm not I'm flying. Nah, cause, go nah, cause whatever your power anywhere. is, you got to be able to learn this shit and then like control it. So you, you can be able to go wherever the fuck go you want to go. Nah, I'm not <laughs> Professor X gonna tell you how to use this shit yeah. they powers and get the straight flying. I ain't had no nigga no wheelchair team nah. how to use my power. I'm like, get up and walk, nigga. No, he he's, all this shit. Get the your thing ass is, he can. He, he can, can, but he, he, he using his brain he's so power smart, so much he don't have shit. to walk because he know that that Man, shit is. I ain't hearing that shit. So he tell me at night, he like, when niggas sleep. Alright, yeah. Time to teach no motherfucker, man. Is he don't even understand that he powered in the wheelchair with his mind. Yeah, though. yeah. <laughs> that nigga walk at night. Man, get your ass up, man. Yeah. No, that's how dangerous he is. If yeah, he stand up, they get caught. They be like, oh shit. Fuck you, go to sleep, man. You ain't seen me do nothing. You, no, you ain't man, seen no. me do a He's too dangerous thing. if he stand up. If he stand up, he gonna fuck something up. Half the world gonna split off or some shit. <laughs> and then he gonna get caught, you <laughs> Yeah, Professor X is a bad motherfucker, man. He and everybody here. he gonna get caught, you yeah, he everybody here, man. Hey, what if that's he just one of them things that, that he got down? <laughs> hey, man, take your ass to sleep, man. What the hell wrong with y'all? You know he can read he minds, so shit. what if that's one of the shits that he found out when he read everybody's mind? Everybody be like, why this nigga don't walk? And he just do that not to fuck with people. Right. Hey, bro. Who was the right. nigga that always pushed him, though? Nobody. No, oh, he, he just always moved it with his mind. Oh, so he was just sitting there and like... He can use his arm. No, he can use his hand. Man, that was a trick. <laughs> It wasn't real. real. No, it wasn't. It was a trick. That nigga could walk, man. No, nah, it wasn't no trick. If you knew everything in the world, you probably wouldn't walk either. Hey, wait, do you know he died? Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Y'all seen Doc? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, I seen Dr. Yeah. Strange. Hey, man, oh, put Strange. a disclaimer yeah. on this, I man. Hey, don't be on his spoiling movies now. for people, man. I seen all that shit. The nigga died, man. The fuck nigga died, man. Hey, relax, man, relax. Hey, relax. Hey, relax. Hey, wait, what's he gonna watch it? Wait, 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 wait. It's been out, though. It's not, it's not. It's not for me. This boy's not for me. Everybody know he does. The niggas in jail watch this. They're gonna be like, fuck! Fuck! Hey, my boy, get the JPEG, you'll get it quicker. Right. 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 Man, you got, some, you got some new shit about to drop out, right? Yeah, man. And they yeah, got caught, he failed. Hey, huh? they need to know. Hold up, hold up. I don't know if they heard this. You got some, what's the new shit? <laughs> you stupid, man. Yeah, we got to start <laughs> over. It was loud. What's the new shit? Stranger Things, man. Trying to yeah. Yeah, trying to bring more of the culture to the, you know what I'm saying, to the sci-fi world. How old are you? That's what's up, man. 20. 20. What's some of the strangest shit you've seen in your life? I don't want to hit nothing too drastic, though. Um, nah, just, just some strange <laughs> shit. Some strange shit? Some shit that wasn't supposed to be there. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I, and my mom, my mom and I are really heavy on spirits. Me and my grandmother, um, I was in my grandmother's house, right? And I haven't even told my mom this. This is the first time I'm talking about this. Oh, shit. Couldn't be that, Jalen. In my grandmother's house, right? She has, like, three rooms. I'm in the guest room, right, when I come over there. And I'm sitting, I'm watching TV. And there's a shelf on both sides, and there's a picture frame on both sides. And I have a cup of water. I, oh, I, See? This shit's Might not even want to talk about this shit. Oh, I know. Okay. Well, uh, the spirit that showed up. What did he say about me? You know those Keep my name out your little fucking interview. <laughs> you know those red cup. You know those red cups of water. Yeah, like yeah. Dixie cups. All right, so there's a, there's there's, there's, cup. there's a Dixie cup on my on my on my on my um on the frame. You know what right. I'm saying on the on the desk that's sitting next to me. This is this is this is real scary. I I turn the TV off. Right? I'm going to sleep. Why the picture frame? Fall, fall and lean on on the on the on the cup, right? Why, and I don't realize it until I pick pick up the cup. Mm -hmm. It's just leaning on the cup. Mm -hmm. 
That's probably the strangest thing I've seen. That shit was on set in real life. In real life. Oh. What was the picture frame of? Me and my grandfather, he passed away. Wow. He passed away though, so like, it, it was just... Yeah. It was some real, yeah, deep shit. It was, you know, it was tilted. It was tilted. And it wasn't tilted back, it was tilted forward. Mm. Uh, that's why I be trying to stay away from it. Even if I hear something in the house. I just, cut, heaven, I just cut the TV even louder. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go ahead and cut this. <laughs> Man, you know black people don't fuck with spirits and shit. We it. hear noise in the house, we just do this. Hey! <laughs> All right now. Bro. <laughs> Better get your ass out of here. <laughs> Nigga, I got a real Go story. Go with that fuck shit. I got a real story, bro. I'm, I was suspended from school, bro. I'm like 12 years old and I had this little fake shotgun, but if I cock it back, that bitch sound real. But I'm like, cock, cock. That bitch got a real cock, cock on it. Nigga, I'm in, the, I'm, in the, I'm, in the, I'm in the shower. I just hit the bottles. Clinkin'. 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 Clink, clink. Woo, bottles. It's just bottles. I don't know. This is bottles. They clinkin'. <laughs> they clinkin'. They ain't supposed to be clinkin'. I'm in the house by myself. No bottles should be clinkin'. You hear me? Nigga, I, I'm naked. Nigga, I get out of this shower. I hit a bitch and clink again. Clink, clink. Clink, clink, clink. And nigga, I pooed it. <laughs> but, but, but. <laughs> Now I know it's kid. <laughs> nigga, I grabbed my little shotgun, right? Nigga, oh, I grabbed it. The toy. I'm in the hallway. We got a little at home. It's in the hallway by DV. <laughs> I'm in the hallway. Man. Clap, clap, make it. <laughs> if you in here, you better get out. That's some scary old shit. Nigga, it was the trash man I said. <laughs> I said, oh, I'm trash. <laughs> I'm too young for these shit. But I was naked in the middle it was of the guns that, It was the gun that made like the, the, the sound. Yeah, really. it was like clap, clap. And then I heard the beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, that's a trap, man. Tripping. I'm tripping, bro. I'm Strange thing. I'm tripping. tripping. We used to hear shit at our old house all the time. The house I grew up in, it always sounded like somebody was turning the fucking water on in the bathroom. And it always sounded like somebody was walking up and down the hall. No. All that. Who house? At my house that I grew up in. It was the strangest house, bro. It was like an old house, but we man, why like why why crazy in? shit used to say, like all, like movie shit. Like the cabinet used to close. Like if you open that shit, it'll like like the safer as you open the cabinet and then close it, that shit or like sometimes that bitch is just like creep all the way back open. Like how the fuck does this shit happen? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just a loose screw. I don't know, <laughs> man. Cause it wasn't just spring, man. That spring we got down getting loose. We used to just hear shit all the time. Cause the motherfucker like bus stop. Where are you from? Where are you from? Mississippi. Where are you from? Mississippi. 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 Hell yeah. I don't know. That, that's, a, that's a heavy spirit in state too. It's a lot yeah. of shit. That's, that's a heavy spirit in state. Yeah. Yeah. You stupid. Mississippi. This nigga crazy, bro. You know you can't talk to him. <laughs> he talking about that's a ghost in him. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck would you be scared of a ghost for anyway, bro? What the fuck they gonna do? Scared? 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 They was old wooden cabinets. Ain't no way that this, it ain't like these some modern so, yeah, shits so, with a spring. So we watch scary because you don't be scared. Hell no. <laughs> you, know you don't be scared at all. None of that shit. I, I watch scary movies and I, I dissect it. That's the main thing. That's good. I went in the house and there was somebody in the house, in my grandma's house. That they you didn't know? The, they was in the house. Who? Motherfucker that was robbing the house. I went in the house, I was a little kid. I went in first, you know I move fast. I, got, I see everything, I see shit. Thrown everywhere, like the pictures, like the VCRs. You was where in there while they were still in there? Yeah, the VCRs where the pictures at and shit. On now the that's shit. some strange what you doing shit. That by yourself? You no, they by came yourself? home. No, my grandma, it's my grandma's house, but I'm just quicker than her. I went, yeah. open the door, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm in there and I'm looking and I'm like, damn, where this shit at? Damn, where the stereo? <laughs> I'm thinking the repair man came and got it, but I'm just looking at shit. I'm like, damn, where, yeah. damn, where the shit? Yeah. Who threw the shit around like this? So I go, like, I done went through the, this part of the house, right. and then I go back around this way. Now this nigga in a leather coat with a jerry curl ran past me, nigga. He ran like, past me. Nigga ran past me like, 
as I live. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't even clean shot. <laughs> 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 and he was out the back there, because we always go through the back door. Yeah. He had kicked in the front door, like my grandma's house, we always go through the back door. Also, you was, you, when you came to the front door, it was already open. We didn't go, I didn't go to the front door. We go through the back door at her house, like the way her house set up, the driveway go around the back, and that's just how we get in. The front of the house, well, don't nobody, if like company come over, yeah, they come through the front, but we go around the back. So we go around the back, I unlock that shit, go in there. By the time I go around that way, buddy, he's like, eh. Trying to you know, shake your ass. Oh, man. I ran out hollering. My grandma was hollering. I ain't never got robbed. I ain't, like, in my house, Don't I speak that up. I ain't, yeah. God damn. You know what I'm saying? But damn, like, I ain't never came in and somebody was on my shit. Like, that's the one shit I don't. That ain't normal, nigga. That's up. You know, that's the one shit I don't miss about the living in the projects and shit. Come on. Like when you be laying in the bed and shit, you can hear motherfuckers talking. That is the strangest shit ever. You should never hear no shit like that. Nigga, I remember I thought I, it was it was something in my house, but it was just termites eating the wall. Oh, <laughs> chewing. Yeah, that's a terrible. <laughs> chewing. I'm talking about. Oh, they, man, plenty of nights, and then I found out. I'm like, oh, that's what that is. Nigga, they been Come eating on, that shit man. for years. Right. No wonder the wood was shit. It was. No wonder it was wood shit when you lift them nice and them out my window. I'm like, why is some? I'm like, that's the wood chipping in this motherfucker. It's just a whole lot of this wood chips. Yeah. Turn right going crazy. Strange. Stupid. Living in See the how we got to talking about some strange shit? Got to turn lights. Hey. So what, how did you how did you um, prepare for this shit? How you land this? Being my? No, no, the stranger things. Ah, oh, um. Well, I knew, I knew about the show before he even came out, working with Caleb, you know, um, Caleb McLaughlin, he's in the show, he plays Lucas. Yeah. Um, he played Ricky Bell in the mm -hmm. new edition story, mm -hmm. the young Ricky. Him out. So, when I was working with him, I was like, yo, what you got next? You know, what's your next project? He was like, well, Stranger Things. I was like, what? I was like, what's that? He explained it to me, explained the whole log line, the story to me, and it was basically a sci-fi thriller. I was like, okay, word. Came out, season one, watched it. Crazy, that's stupid. Crazy. Season two yeah. came out. I was like, oh, that's when I, that's this. when I was hooked. In season two, I was a big fan. Congratulated him, and I was like, bro, like I would love to be in this shit, man. He was like, why not? You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm telling him, I would love to see more of us in it, you know, more people that look like us. You know, regardless if it is me, you know what I'm saying, or anybody else. But now, fast forward, we here a minute, you know. So, what, how I got here, just mainly just telling my agents. You know, I was, I've been was keep keeping it heavy on my, my agent's mind about what I wanted to do and the type of roles that I wanted to do and yeah. strange things was coming you up. Gotta do, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they you know, they gave me that that blessing, you yeah. know, and what's crazy is Sean Levy and some of the producers on Stranger Things actually worked on my first feature film, Ken. Uh, Ken was uh, was uh, was a feature film with Dennis Quaid, James Franco, Michael B. Jordan, Zoe Kravis. Um, so they worked on me on that. So now it's just real full circle working with them, Caleb, and you know what I'm saying. So yeah, so it was just a preparation process. Just always just talking to them, my my team saying, hey, I want to be a part of this, and them knowing that there's only one black boy, you know, and it's like, why is that? Why? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's 22, this season was 22 million an episode. Damn. Right. And it's two black kids? Right. You know what I'm saying? But y'all y'all always want to talk about Black Lives Matter and, oh, we support this, that, and the third. And I'm not talking, I'm not downplaying it. I, I'm, I'm grateful for my blessing. And that's why, that's why I am where I am today. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? In Stranger Things, because that was my main goal and my strive and my purpose of doing it. That you can. That I can do it. And not only that I can do it, that other boys that look like me can. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just a set up goal and manifestations. You know what I'm saying? You just representation you just matters, man. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Gotta have some representation. Got to. Got to. Paycheck to paycheck or struggling to make ends meet, it can be really stressful when unexpected expenses come up. Now Dave can help. 
Dave is the banking app that can help you get up to $500 instantly with extra cash. That's more money to fill your tank, buy a wedding gift, or catch up on bills. Get you out of a pinch when you really need it. You can finally tackle those expenses that have been stressing you out without any hangups. There's no interest and no credit check needed. Download Dave today at dave.com slash 85 south. That's dave.com slash 85 south. Sign up for an extra cash account and get up to $500 instantly. Millions of people have already downloaded the Dave app to get the financial relief they need with extra cash. So if you're in a pinch and need some extra help, download Dave and think of it as a helping hand from future you. For terms and conditions, go to dave.com slash legal. Instant transfers fees apply. Thank you provided by Evolve. Member FDIC, your future will thank you. Guys, it's time to bring that summer heat into the bedroom. That's right. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. The best part is done online, so no visit to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Guys, confidence can take you far in life. It can also help in the bedroom, especially when it comes time to step up to the plate. That's where Blue Chew comes in. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepare and ship direct to your door in a discreet package. So if you can benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew for free when you use our promo code 85SOUTH at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code 85SOUTH to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. That's kind of what you were talking about earlier, how everybody, you know, we can't make stuff seem hard. Right. We gotta, even this work that's gotta be put in. But yeah, gotta stay consistent. Yeah, we put that stigma that's, on. That's my word, consistent. Yeah. You know, persistent. Persistent, consistent. Consistent is the same thing, but when you persistent, yeah. you already know what you, what you need to do. Mm. Sometimes people just go to work every day and still don't know their purpose. Yeah, you go to work consistently. But if you persistent. Because they get stuck in a cycle. Any system. Any consistent, persistent, <laughs> assistant, any system <laughs> is not really. You just gotta be assistant. You just gotta be there. <laughs> you gotta, you just gotta do it. Yeah. Stay prayed up. Do it. Do the work. Go nah. in there. Go hard, knowing that you want to go to the next level. It's all about elevation. If you good with that, then cool. Know that you good with that. Just don't be like, I'm good with. You don't even know what you good with. What you good with? Mm. What you good with? And you're just doing it because you're just doing it because you got to do something. You just got to do something. Nah. You need to you need to know what you're doing. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So everything you just got to know. I'm gonna go in here and kill this role. All right. Maybe this may be the breakout role. If it's not, cool, it's okay. It's okay. You gotta be prepared. I'm gonna yeah. go in here and do what I need to do. Right. I'm. It's a blessing to be here. So this is just part of the resume. And we are both examples though, you know what I'm saying? Coming from Atlanta and we are both the same skin color. No care. That's proven off the same point that I said that there's other boys and other men that look like us that can do the shit that we doing, you know? But they always got the various distractions and the outliers that are gonna influence them to doing something that I wanna be a rapper, I wanna be a basketball player. That's what I wanted to do. No, I you feel what I'm saying? I wanted, boy, what? But was you good? That's the thing. A you lot of see, people want to play. Everybody good. want to, but at a certain but point, then, the reality got to kick in. A lot of people nice. are good. A I'm, lot of people good. I'm, even niggas right now on the court, you like, damn, that nigga nice. <laughs> but you ain't NBA nice, nigga. Right, you gotta be great. Shut your ass up, nigga. You ain't NBA nice, nigga. You gotta be great. Nah, you gotta be another level, bro. It's another level. That's you gotta, you gotta, gotta be level. recreationally That's great. Okay. Anytime you so play great shit, you gotta be great. You gotta be Some people are just born to do certain shit. Right. Yeah. Like, The Rock can't do shit else. <laughs> he is the rock. <laughs> well, he can do everything. He is, but Batista can't be shit else but Batista. Yeah. But they, some these motherfuckers are abnormally large human beings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nigga, what else was Shaq gonna do? <laughs> what else was Shaq gonna do? 
Yeah, it's break off. Didn't he didn't have dunk. to pick this shit. shit. This he was like, like too, oh, dunk. I wanted to go to the league. Until you go see these niggas who in the league, the shortest nigga in the league in is the, league. the tallest the motherfucker tallest you ever stood next to. They six they feet They make be them look different. small, yeah. Six feet be I thought I was six feet. They I'm six like, feet. you're like six, seven. <laughs> right, I'm six two. Ow, nigga, I'm six four. You not six. <laughs> you use a different chart than the doctor. <laughs> you not doing the twelve inches, twelve inches. The like doctor, the doctor did. This. How y'all do y'all? Man, you must jump up to your. <laughs> if you that, saw, that's probably too. that probably would have humbled me though. <laughs> you like saw if all the motherfuckers walking. Around. If you went somewhere room. and there was that a bunch of NBA me. players, you would freak the fuck out and run out of that. A room full of seven feet tall motherfuckers. Said, That's the that shit that nightmares are made up. <laughs> you walk in there, you the smallest <laughs> motherfucker. People just grab you by the top of the head. Move for the two guys. Fuck that shit. Who the yeah, fuck is that? See, it's in genetics, though. It's genetics. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen a professional football player, nigga? <laughs> hey, hey, what sports you used to play? I used to play football. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, most of them. Hey, well, man, oh, yeah, you know you got to be all the same. Ain't no oh, fucking. Get that uh, set of fucking. Yeah. I can tell you something. You can tell you didn't right. play football. Like, when you ain't right. shit, they don't give you but one position. <laughs> you didn't play. You crazy here. Shit. I was the only seventh grade, only 